One of the things that God placed on my heart in planning Crossroads is to uh, have a place where people formally join covenant. And you say, well, what's the big deal about covenant? I'm going to share a personal story that's probably may even be too personal, but it will give you an illustration about the power of covenant. Some years ago, I received a uh, Facebook um, friend request from an old girlfriend. And I mentioned it to Wanda, and she says, whatever you think, we have trust in our relationship. And so I checked yes. Then she began to message me, just catching up about families. She's married, and um, I'm married. I'm sure she's happily married. I'm happily married. She began to uh, message me. And it was just routine, you know, family, kids, school, whatever. But I noticed that she would always, when I would finish, she would always ask me an additional question. And I thought, I don't like the direction this is going. So I went to Billy, and I said, Billy, this is what's going on. Billy said, she's trying to hook you. That week, my, uh, uh, my pastor, Ron Meyer, was down, and we were traveling around town, and, and uh, I said, uh, uh, actually, I mean, Wanda was in on this the whole time, too, so it wasn't like I was keeping her out of the loop. Um, an important detail. <laughs> and so uh, I was riding around town with, uh, with Ron, and I began to share this. And all of a sudden, he got this smile on his face, and he said, you wouldn't believe this. He said, a pastor from a Dove pastor, because we're in covenant with the Dove churches, we're in partnership. A Dove pastor in Massachusetts that I hardly knew had a dream last week and said that you're about ready to do something that is going to be detrimental to your marriage. And Ron, he said, first of all, he said, a Dove senior elder is getting ready to do something that will be detrimental to his marriage. And Ron said, who is it? He said, it's Bobby Alger. And Ron said, I have no, I had, I have no knowledge that that Wanda and Bobby are having issues or trouble or they have a great marriage. And then I began to tell Ron that, and he told me that. You see, God loved me enough that he took somebody, because we were in covenant together, he took somebody I hardly knew and gave them a dream and brought it back to me to get things straight before it was too late. That's the power of covenant. Because you can be in a place where you can be with people, but the power of covenant is I'm going to watch over you and you're going to watch over me and we're going to go with God together. And if you don't make that formal, the devil knows it's not formal and he comes in and he will wreck things in the process and you'll end up going a different direction just because you weren't in covenant together. And maybe that's too personal, but covenant's personal. It's not about membership up here. It's about us joining together and say, we're going for God, and I'm going to watch your back, and you're going to watch my back, and we're going to see what God's going to do together.